I added timestamps to this video and you can see those in the description below so you can jump around if you want. The next minute and a half is Emily and I attempting to go crabbing. Enjoy! tried to go crabbing we caught four crabs one fell out and we let the other three go so really we didn't catch anything but that's okay it was fun and then we went and picked up our baby oysters to help with the chesapeake bay foundation each oyster filters like 50 gallons of water a day when they're fully grown so what we're doing is we have the baby oysters off the end of the pier or the dock and we are raising them this time next year, we will give them back to the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and they'll take them to the big oyster farm on the river somewhere. And we'll get new ones. After we picked up our baby oysters, we went to the Portsmouth Waterside, which by the way, Thursday nights in the summer, if you're around town, come out to Portsmouth. It's free bands, food trucks, us. We're there with the carry bee sitting on the on the side and you're more than welcome to come aboard and we have a full bar. It's just a good time uh, to hang out, listen to some music. Emily got to drive the boat, drive the boat, captain the boat, steer the boat. I'm not really sure what you say or what you call it. But anyway, Emily took the boat back to the creek where it stays parked 
And that was pretty cool. She is a boss when it comes to driving that thing. There were crab pots everywhere and she was just zipping around them. It was cool. The next day we took our baby oysters and we put them in the water off the dock. I had a couple of really, really good grilled meals. I don't normally keep a scale on the table like that. I just noticed that lately Wegmans had been putting different sizes of meats in their prepackaged meats. And I just wanted to weigh it out to make sure that I was putting the right thing in my macro tracker. And I, I was pretty close. So I'm to the point now where I can like eyeball things and kind of be okay. But every now and again, it's good to just check yourself. Oh, and then I weighed myself at the end of the week. I was down uh, 1.2 pounds. So that was that was good. That feels good. And, well, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching how my week went. I'll have another video next week. It'll be week four. I do want to add one. I look like I am exhausted because I am. Uh, Amber and I started this training program for a half marathon in October and I said I would never run another one and she texted me and said hey do you want to run a half marathon and of course I was like yeah sure uh, I don't know what I was thinking but that's okay so we're training for that and yeah it's whooping my ass already I think we're like we're three days in two days in we're two days in oh uh, anyway, and then also I want to shout out to my friends Amber again and Cone because they had some killer meal preps this week. That was cool. I always like seeing that. It helps knowing that you're not alone. I'll tell you. Uh, and then Amanda reached out and she's like, yeah, let's meet up and work out sometime. So that'll be really fun. Of the 15 people that watch this, let's be real, it's probably more like 10 because I think five of those views were myself. Of the 10 people that watch this, Feel free to reach out. I'm always down to work out. So, anywho. All right. Bye. Great of your life. Have a great race.